Hello and welcome back to the channel. That is the last pannier pat and this is the beginning of a world adventure. Cue the intro. This adventure is supported by Ashworth Automotive in Western Supermare, the number one garage keeping you and Helmethead on the road. Well, the big plan is to ride this Honda Monkey bike the entire world. Well, as many countries as we possibly can, and some I might have to fly out to, and obviously hire bikes, etc., etc. But the plan is to do as many countries as I possibly can on this Honda Monkey bike, that's also known as Ashworth. Now, right now, we're in my home country, the great United Kingdom. And the big plan for today is to do 169 miles, get on a Euro tunnel, a train that goes under the sea, and then get to France. Roughly an hour in France, along the coastline to my first hotel but leg one the big plan is to ride the entire length of france and end up getting to the pyrenees so we'll see how this venture pans out but right now i'm going to get suited booted and we're going to hit the road Well, we have set off and I've just done a measly 50 miles. It's not exciting, I know that's day. Today is the A14, the M11, the M25 and the M20 to get to Fearlestoke, to get on the Euro Tunnel. But we've set off. We've set off on an incredible adventure. The monkey bike, I kid you not, the monkey bike is just cruising beautifully. Not just that, not just that. It's easily keeping up with the trucks. I'm overtaking a couple, but generally sitting about that 56, 57 miles an hour, half throttle as well, behind the truck just cruising along. That's really, really great. Now, I have set off ridiculously early because I'm gonna to get to the ferry, not the ferry, the tunnel about, I think you should see that it's a minimum really of two hours before. They're likely there about an hour before for the Euro tunnel, it's a lot quicker. I'm probably gonna get there about three and a half hours early because the bike's doing so well. That's cool, that's lots of little stops. I'm right next to a really, really busy road. The A14 that I'm on is just behind me as well. But everything's working really well. Now, it's February at the minute, and it's actually not a bad day, it's 11 degrees. But what I've done is, I have literally layered up on purpose, and I'm wearing my favorite heated gear, obviously the Gerbin heated gear, and I've got my favorite jeans on road skin. So I'm just, with the waterproofs on, was what I'm trying to say, and with the, just the heater gear on one, it is just perfect. The wind chill's not bothering me because I'm not feeling it, because waterproofs aren't breathable, that means that the heat's staying in. It's just, it's just really good. It's going so well at the minute, and this is probably something I shouldn't say, that I'm like, I'm gonna be there early. I'm gonna end up, you know, sitting around most of the day, but I don't care, because I'm on the road. The bike's performing amazingly, we're off what's really cool now why i get a chance today i was supposed to be met by lee who is nightcrawler 666 on youtube and he is the guy that owns ashworth automotive that we all know sponsors and supports the channel that's going to be giving me technical support all the way around the world on the monkey bike and probably any other bike that i end up having to ride at certain points but he was aiming to meet me for day one and unfortunately something's happened it was not the nicest thing by far in the world but something's happened of course that means that he can't make it what i know he's got it about he gave me a call this morning to wish me the best of luck and i know he's absolutely gutted um but he's going to tell you the story on his channel so pop over and give the guy a subscribe he's got a great series out at the minute but most of all I'm gutted for him because I know he wanted to be here today. But anyway, we are going to get back on 
that rubbish road <laughs> and keep hacking these miles down. We've got to get out of the UK. We've got to get to France. I want to get on the Euro Tunnel. I want to get that train under. It, but we're getting there. We are getting there. So we have got 120 miles still to go. And it is all this route m11 m25 over the dartford bridge i think it's what's called the dartford bridge and m20 down to Felistoke. so let's get back on the road and let's hammer some more miles let's get hopefully another hour underneath our belt and we'll stop and we'll reassess but the monkey bike handling it in true monkey style let's hit the road Well, we've got 101 miles to go and of course we're still on the m11 and it wouldn't be britain if we didn't have some kind of traffic going on so we are sat in traffic and i never lane split when it's slowly moving and we are slowly moving it's all good now so i've done my bit of lane splitting when we were stood still is what i'm trying to say and now i'm just up on this truck but i've got so much time because i've set off so ridiculously early be fair i could waste an hour in track in traffic if i needed to but ashworth the monkey cycle over landing beast is performing amazingly well even the air filter that i put on with my true 11 out of 10 engineering skills is still on my heated vest is on on one and i'm actually quite hot so i might have to turn that off in a minute the sun is shining and we'll soon soon be leaving this great great british country and heading over to the land of frogs eating baguettes seeing what craziness happens and i may well be one of the first british lords to ever cross france on an ashworth overlanding beast this is gonna be epic and the interesting thing most of all is that lords don't pay so we're going to see how that works out in regards to uh, the way the systems worked in France because over this country I don't for instance pay for things like Dartford crossings not that you do anyway on a motorcycle but if I was in a car in a in a in a in a I don't know luxury vehicle crossing over I still wouldn't be paying because lords don't pay let's see what France have to say about that anyway a few miles more to hack we're about to just pass up the accident i think that's caused all of this standstill stuff we're just about to pass it and we can hack down some more miles come on sun is shining life is good move truck move the mighty beast is coming through well i got down to two bars of fuel and i decided you know what again because i'm not in a rush i'm going to take my time pull in at the services right next to stanstead airport grab myself as always a refreshing drink and because i'm uber 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 healthy on all of my adventures especially on the road because i completely disagree when people say you can never eat health in the road i've got myself a very healthy snack sort of a lunch brunch whatever you want to call it because i'm posh we'll call it brunch because i'm a lord and just chill out for a minute enjoy a nice hot beverage enjoy a healthy snack and just chill and then of course we've got about 88 miles ish to get down to the tunnel and i don't really don't know how many miles after that it is to the actual hotel i know i've booked somewhere along the coastline but i just put somewhere in the map i didn't actually figure out the distance properly i reckon it's about an hour i reckon but we'll find out but then we'll be in france so we've made it that far in a day i'm pretty happy as always ashworth is keeping sweet as and running perfectly I need to strip off a bit. You can see the sun's out. I layered up to do with wind chill. I think the reality is, is I'm not cold, I'm <laughs> really, really hot. But hey, better hot than cold. Right, I'm gonna enjoy my healthy snack, back on the road, 88 miles-ish. We can do this. On that tunnel, we can do it. <laughs> We are flying. We've only got 55 miles left to go until we get to the Euro Tunnel. 
but right now we're on the dreaded M25 and we're going over the bridge and it's quite a famous bridge and I can't remember the name because it's not called the Dartford Bridge because it's a Dartford tunnel near London on the M25 but it's a famous bridge with bits that goes really high and swoops over I think it's the River Thames <laughs> it's probably not even that either but basically we're on the very famous M25 bridge that goes over the river it's a toll charge road it is free for motorcycles but anyway I was a lord so I wouldn't be paying it anyway it's cool isn't it it's very very cool like the golden arches of not even arches golden sticky up thing is of passing over four lanes crazy trucks but very cool and I'll see if we can see anything at all as we go over everyone wants to slow down but hey over around us is London over around is London the good old capital city I'm not full of history facts am I <laughs> but anyway London a big busy city full of people doing businessy stuff let's uh, keep hacking these miles down let's get let's get finally get to the Euro tunnel well ladies and gentlemen we've just come off of all the rubbish motorways we've done the M25 we've done the M20 and all the other stuff boring 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 but for this moment because I've got giddily excited because we're at the channel the channel we're at the channel tunnel I've called it all sorts of stuff all sorts of stuff right I have no idea what I'm doing though so we're about to go through something or other flexi pass let's go here I don't know where I'm going yes this is it let's get through it press to check in booking reference 8 digital key hey I got my one I'm supposed to take something now Cool. Well, that. <laughs> I, I, well, I thought I was going to pull up, right? This is what I generally thought. I was going to pull up and have to take a few minutes to get my stuff out and get sorted. When I arrived, that was like put a reference number in, and thankfully I'd printed it off. I tried searching on my phone, but couldn't get the e email up. Um, parking. I don't, do I want to park? I don't think so. Yes, let's go park. Well, I've just got in and I think I went through whatever that was and put the reference number in and we're in the car park and there's a little call board up there. But what's really cool, as always with this channel and all the crazinesses, is that I'm not by myself. I am not by myself. Now, Lee might not be able to make it today, but someone else has turned up. So this is really cool. Let me introduce them. Now, for anybody that's new, this is Paul. And I used to call him Mike or Mick or whatever I used to call him. <laughs> this is Paul. And Paul has come to so far my first, no, second charity event, the reveal, no, the UK trip, and, you, and come to the UK reveal UK as well. And you, you reveal, yeah. yeah, you've come to quite a lot. And you come along today and you're winging it with me for how many days? Uh, four days. I go back Saturday lunchtime. So, so you're going to try and turn around? Yeah. Try and hack some miles down with you and then I've got to hack all the miles back again. You'll be alright. You'll <laughs> be alright. You'll be alright. But you're on the trusty pan. So we've got 1,100 cc's. Versus. <laughs> 125. <laughs> There's 9 horsepower fully laden. Yeah. Well yeah. if you go in front, strip stream I've all the way. To carry though. How many pants have you brought? I've got five pairs. Have you? Yeah. Just to be fair, I've seen how much room I've got. <laughs> I've got like 20 pairs in there, man. I'm going to be swapping every day, halfway through. Right, we need to get onto the tunnel. We don't both have never done the Euro... I call it the Euro tunnel. It's the channel tunnel. We've both never done this on bikes. I call, I call it the Euro tunnel, but every sign says the channel tunnel, so <laughs> I'm probably wrong. It's but the ground, that's all I know. What we need to do, though, I think, is go through passport control still. So we're going to go and get that done, and we're going to go and get on this train and go under the sea. So there's going to be a monkey and a pan under the sea on a train. Sorted? Fun. Yeah. <laughs> no passport, have you? No. You don't need passport. Oh, yeah, it'll be all right. You're a lord. It'll be all right, you'll exactly. Know, you'll know who you are. As soon as I rock up, it'll be perfectly <laughs> fine. Right, let's go our bikes on board. This way. It says on the floor, this way to France. I just, I love, I love the Helmethead audience. I love the point that someone's come 
to hang out with me for a few days on this trip. I love that. I just really hope that happens every part of this trip and stuff because it's just cool. Me and Paul are gonna have a good few beers tonight, talk absolute rubbish, speak really bad French and have an absolute giggle. Oh hang on, the French send us the, the wrong way already, look. Go round, go round, go round. So let's get on board a Pedro. Passport control, use five lanes, passport control. Right, let's get through passport control. Let's show him my Lord's passport. It means I should get through super quick and let's get out of Dodge. Oh yeah, you're right. Passport, yeah? Yeah, it's in my pocket. <laughs> Yeah, long way. <laughs> Around the whole world. <laughs> Do you want to see that or? <laughs> Woohoo! Right, here we are then. We are on the train. We are dri we're riding the Ashworth through a train. If anybody that's never done this, they will literally be exploding in their pants. That way. Right. Keep to the right. Yeah. Is that good? Wheels to the curb. Wheels to the curb? Yeah. Oh, I get you. That's what I meant before you were doing. Yeah, yeah. I get you. Thank you. Engine off, side down. <sighs> well, this is the Euro Tunnel. And this is now where we leave England and go to La France. So there's some Monge 2 in. How cool. Well, we're just about set off. They've done all of their announcements. They have announced that Lord Helmet Head is on board. We've pretty much got the whole carriage to ourselves other than special security. No, okay, there's a couple of cars there, but we've made it onto the Euro Tunnel and we're about to set off and this is it. Bye bye England and hello France. We're on here for about 45 minutes and I think this cost me about 80 quid. So 80 quid, 45 minutes and we'll be in France. And to be fair, the whole process, at least to get out, I didn't really know what I was doing and winged it, but it seemed crazy. You handed your passport over, you took your helmet off, then you handed your passport over, took your helmet off, handed your passport, put your helmet off, stand to one side, get on the back of the train, bada boom, bada bing. Anyway, now all we've got to do is get to France. And we're literally, literally starting to move, look. So I'm going to enjoy a Dr Pepper because Paul has brought me pop, a pop, a Dr Pepper pop can because when he met us the first time he brought us a load when I was doing a charity trip and the side kicked on and we didn't want it and was really rude. I'm not rude so I'm going to enjoy a can of Dr Pepper and I'm going to see you again off of this train in France. As you can see I'm a little bit giddy, not giddy, I'm a little bit excited. I'm basically a very small child at the minute at Christmas. This is really cool. Well, we are now leaving the train in the tunnel. I am now talking French. And that song has just popped into my head. Michael Boobies, uh, feeling good. You know the one? The sun in the sky, you know how I feel. Birds in the sky, you know how I feel. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me. Cause I'm feeling good Yes I am I probably got all the words wrong But you get the gist of it Right we are About to depart Here we go Crunch soil Cheers mate All you got to remember is they ride on the wrong side of the road. That's all you've got to remember. Wrong side of the road. Wrong side of the road. You're French, do it wrong. This person's indicating. You can only go one way, mate. This is no left. Right. Follow the French car. They know what they're doing, honestly. Yeah, baby. How exciting. Right, from here, we're in kilometers now. So we've got 48 kilometers, roughly 40 minutes add on another 20 we're going to stop and grab some fuel Paul on his red pan we've had a good old chat on the uh, train 
Paul's like me, he is just here winging it alongside me. What's cool, because we're both now plonkers in France. Well, we've not gone massively far, because like I said, Paul needs to fill up his pan so he can keep up with the beast of the monkey bite, but we are here. Well, we're in France, we're just inside of France at a petrol station, but ladies and gentlemen, look. Le Francais, look, French bins, in case you've never seen a bin before. French tree, in case you've never seen a French tree before. I don't know. But we've not got massively far to the hotel, so we're going to get there and obviously enjoy a beer. Today was pretty much getting out of the UK, but we're all going to check in yet, haven't we? I'm sure that'll go well. Monge 2, Lord Helmet Head has arrived. Right, back on the bike. Uh, I need a place for a pee, actually and that services that are behind me everywhere looks closed so i wonder if there's a french hedge dedicated for peeing don't know anyway pee whoa moist fell over bike hotel first beer but i want to just quickly say a massive thank you to paul anderson not from the matrix mr anderson paul anderson from uh, california because what he has done he has PayPal me 20 quid the other day. And that has literally covered today's fuel for me to get out of the UK and to France. And we'll cover that first beer in the hotel room. And of course, that first beer is a very special beer. So cheers, dude, I massively appreciate it. This is awesome. We're in France, this is awesome. Right, shall we get to the hotel? Let's check out the best hotel in the world. <laughs> Well, we have just arrived at the hotel. I think around 200 miles today-ish, maybe slightly less, about 200 miles. The Ashworth Overlander has tackled it like a beast. It's been a real nice surprise to have Paul here, I've got to say, because now I've got a drinking buddy tonight. That means I won't edit, I will drink and enjoy talking to Paul. Now, Paul, what was the maximum speed of the monkey? You did actually sort of push 55 that's all right downhill. that's all right because now no, i mean i was getting close to you to push you up the hill yeah I, I, <laughs> it is since, at 40 miles yeah. an hour there, since but... we've got here it has been up and down hasn't it and so it, it is struggling a little bit on the hills but hey the most important thing is it's in kilometers now and so what, it looks better exactly and it what that actually better. means now is when it says i'm doing 110 in my head i'm doing 110 miles an hour Absolutely. so that's awesome anyway hotel hotel de park well, i think that's what it's called anyway all right how much did, how much did you pay 67 euros i think i paid more anyway or was it 67 pounds 87 euros I don't know. I don't know. I haven't paid anything yet. They haven't taken any money. Yeah, though they're about to. <laughs> <laughs> they will. Let's go and check in. Let's check out the actual room and then let's get our first beer to celebrate going all this way on our first night in France. We've just got the rest. Well, I've got the rest of France to go. You've probably got about half, half, half at least bit, half, I reckon. I reckon yeah. 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 I know you'll push me on. Yeah, I'll push you on because <laughs> I don't want to be by myself now. Now you're here. He's like a standing sidekick, so he's going to get loads of abuse. It's going to be good. <laughs> Let's go and get a beer. I'll get you my bag so you can practice. Absolutely. And it'll I've all got be my good. Bags, so I've got, as the carrier bag. <laughs> Hello, so I've just won one night. Yes. Okay? Good. Well, I've made it into the room and I will give you a quick tour and I will show you on the map first exactly where we are because as far as I'm concerned, I'm in France. I have no idea exactly where in France I am, but I'm in France and I'm on the south, no, I'm on the north part of France and I have to travel right to the south side of France. Yeah, <laughs> let me show you the map where I am and I will give you a little tour of this. Be quite frank, I picked this on purpose because I wanted a really nice place to stay for my first night at least. And if it goes downhill from here, well, I'm here now and I'm stuck. Anyway, let me show you where I'm on the map and give you that tour. So what we've managed to achieve today is we were right up here in the UK. We've traveled all the way down, all the way down, all the way down, and obviously caught the uh, train underneath the sea, and we've come out somewhere around here. We've jumped on the A16, and we've gone past this place here. I think we diverted off and went through here to get here to avoid some tolls. What is the Balearsia blah, 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 just there? And then obviously we've come down and our hotel that we're in now is just here. Not a bad day. Now I think I've paid 
about 90 euros i think it was in euros is what i've paid for this hotel and i did google it i did have a look around i wanted something nearest a sort of a coastline because tomorrow i'd love to start the vlog at the coast how could that be get up travel to the seaside picturesque amazing i've been told it's forecast rain but anyway this is the hotel that i've booked and let me give you a quick tour around right that is the entrance just there of course with the best looking british lord in the entire world this is just a toilet <laughs> a space for the loo next door we have to be fair a modernish not too bad shower bath there's only bubbles have they provided us with bubbles what have they provided us with here we've got vegan formula that's nice just that's just a conditioner and a shower cap oh they've got some stuff here so we've got liquid soap we've got liquid soap everyone says don't use this because they could be full of something that's not too bad how's my eye looking by the way if anyone doesn't know i actually got a bite there and um, i think that's what's caused i think it's a bite anyway safe to put on my golden because i'm a lord but this is cool isn't it ready how nice is this a double bed it should be a king i think they've made a bit of a mistake but they've pushed them together so anyway a nice area telly because nobody actually watches it when they're abroad water probably vegan water as well if they've got vegan soap and obviously information and kettle and tea making facilities a little area i can play chess by myself and keep winning somewhere for a peasant to sleep in case i need a peasant tonight to give us a massage or something but what it has got what it has got is a little outside area a little pretty place outside yeah well i feel like we've done pretty well i think we've done actually incredibly well we've done about 200 miles today and it's all been i'm going to sit on the peasant's bed oh, to be fair that's quite comfortable i reckon there's got to be more peasants in france than there is in england because that's that's quite comfortable seat stroke bed perfect for them anyway like i say and i think we've done pretty well today 200 miles with achieved what we wanted to achieve we've got here we've got her in good time as well i'm looking forward to getting to know paul better that was a cool surprise that was because obviously lee's been unable to make it and you'll find out why on his channel lee is the guy that has basically built the ashworth overlander supporting the channel with all the mechanical and technical skills that he's got and he's hoping to join me on different parts of this adventure the different legs in different countries but i'm going to get to know paul and uh, we're going to have a beer and we're going to chill out night one. Hopefully I won't annoy him too, too much. Obviously he's going to have to pick up my beer and bring it to me at the table and stuff like that. Because I'm just basically, he's going to stand in sidekick for the first couple of days now. I've just given him that for him to do. But tomorrow, tomorrow is going to probably be a lot more hacking down some miles again. We've got to get across the whole length of France to where I'm storing the bike um is in the pyrenees at my dad's house so i can fly back and do the next leg all overall it's about a thousand miles from setting off i believe well the length of france basically um, and i want to hack about 200 miles down tomorrow as well so we've got a big chunk underneath us to get there but i also want to go off and experience some offbeat and track some crazy french stuff i basically don't have a clue as always i'm going to wing it but if i can get some good miles down a walk i've done today and tomorrow i could probably chill out a little bit more day three day four maybe and go and i don't know find some cool french stuff to do and sample some french uh, food and all this stuff either way it's been a blast i'm well happy i can't believe we've started the world trip we're here this is the first day and we're here we've we've started it's going to be awesome I'm going to go grab that beer i'm going to grab a shower and i will see you tomorrow or we'll just see what happens we're winging it we it's going to be a laugh i'll see you then mm -hmm.